for coming. Good man. Thank you for coming. coming. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. This now, is uh, this is weird. <laughs> What's usually, weird about it? There's Bill? usually a table. <laughs> we, we sit there. You know, I like it. it's very minimalist. <laughs> Just a black guy yelling. That's what the show is. That's good. Yeah. Now, first of all, I want to say congratulations because you were in the new Rolling Stone, the Paul McCartney issue. Yes, you. I was. Yes, I was. Finally. Are the new Louis C.K. Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, I feel bad for Louis. <laughs> <laughs> I think I owe him, him an apology. I don't know why they wrote that. I think it's like uh, they just, uh, he's a balding redhead. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, I think they're the same thing. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's funny because I feel like Louis C.K. is still using the Louis C.K. He's still the... Yeah, I don't like how they're talking about him like he's not the king. He's the king. <laughs> All I do is tell jokes. He, like, tells jokes. Puts out specials faster than I do. He, he, he's writing, acting, and directing in one of the uh, f arguably the funniest show on TV. And I, I just do stand up in strip malls. <laughs> so I think I got a ways to go. Oh, no, don't be so hard on yourself. You're a funny guy, man. Well, I don't like how they talk shit for me. I wasn't <laughs> saying that. I didn't say it. <laughs> I just wanted to spend the right, go check out this dancing clown if he comes in your neighborhood. <laughs> That's not as good of a headline. Check out this dancing clown if he comes to your neighborhood. I take it. All right, all right. <laughs> we will email Rolling Stone and say change the headline. Yeah. Now you, but you do. You say you don't put out specials as often as this, but you are known among comics for turning out material all the time. Every time you come to town, you feel like you have a new hour. Why do you put all that pressure on yourself? It isn't pressure. It's the I get sick of material, and if you do the same stuff every night, then it, it, your life just turns. It's like Groundhog Day. You're just going up there. <laughs> saying, you know, your mind like wanders. I don't know if you guys have ever tried stand-up, but if you're doing the same jokes night after night after night, you literally can like think about, I gotta do my laundry, I got tasks <laughs> to do, oh my God, I, I forgot to check in for my flight. And you're just up there just hating your life. So that's, <laughs> that's why, that's why I, I, I turn it over. It's no sort of work ethic. It's just <laughs> flying sucks, traveling sucks. The only thing that's fun is the show. So if I don't keep feeding new life into it, then, uh, then that also sucks. And uh, I'll probably kill myself. <laughs> Man, for a guy who's doing great, you sure seem depressed right now, Bill. No, I'm not. I'm, just, I'm in a good mood. But I'm honest. A lot of people think about killing themselves. They don't do it. You just, you know, you just got all this work in front of you. And that's always that option just to the left. <laughs> that you could just sort of step out the window and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the uh, the cliched comic that's all morose and stuff. No, I know, I know. Now, you lived here in New York for a while. Yes, I did. Oh, uh, did you pay attention to the election? We got a new mayor here, Bloomberg is out. I didn't even know there was an election. <laughs> I honestly don't. I don't pay attention at all. I, I you know. It's funny, Bankers get bonuses of any way. The upper echelon get from like 10 million up to 100 million, and the president of the United States makes like 400 grand a year. So right there, I watched enough wrestling to see a rigged game. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there's like people with YouTube channels making as much as the leader of the free world. So I just think he's set up to be bribed, <laughs> and uh, you act accordingly. So any, any, basically anybody who comes at me going, these, these, these uh, you know, the conservative right, or the, you know, the, these liberals, like I just zone out. I can't even talk to you if you're actually still looking at it like those are two choices that you're getting. <laughs> you're not. It's the same. Once you get past a certain level, it just seems like it's, it's, you it's know, all the same. Yeah, thing. you've jumped in the river. And you act accordingly, <laughs> or you get that convertible ride in Dallas. That's the guy with you are a major conspiracy theorist. I'm a realist, though. Yes. Conspiracy theory has gotten a bad name, where now it's 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 become synonymous with like moronic thought. Like if you're into conspiracy theory, if you think like the bankers need to be stopped, then you also think the moon is made out of cheese, <laughs> and you think that there's shape shift shifters and like lizard people. You know, they just try to knock it down. It's like this country started with a conspiracy. That's how it came. We won, <laughs> so they're considered heroes and rebels. You yeah. know, uh, whatever you Re saying? revolutionaries. But yeah. if they lost. They would be hanged for, conspi for yeah. conspiring. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not like it spontaneously happened. Yeah. Like all of a sudden everybody just picked up a gun and started shooting at the British. You know, they sat around. <laughs> they, said they planned they it out. They planned it out. Yeah. I'm kind of getting tired of these people. What are you <laughs> <doing>? <laughs> it's funny. When you said we win, I'm like, did we really win? But I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Now. Oh, is that that African American thing? Yeah. <laughs> Now, you have a podcast that's very popular, the Monday Morning Podcast, and it's interesting, and you have started podcast 
uh, network with Al Madrigal from The Daily Show. Mm -hmm. uh, all, all Things Comedy Network, ATC.com. Yeah. And now, the interesting thing about your podcast is that a lot of podcasts have guests or they do like comedy sketches. Yep. It's just you. That's right. Just talking. Yeah. Well, I, I it's like this, except I'm not there. It's just you talking. <laughs> well, I didn't get in this business basically to have a job. That I'm in this business because I don't like to work. I don't like listening to people. I don't like having bosses. I hate conference calls. Whenever I have a conference call, this is true, I, I put the cell phone, I put it on speaker, and I throw it to the other side of the bed, and I put a pillow over my head, and I just wait for people to stop talking, and when they stop talking, I just go, yeah, you know, it sounds good. It sounds good. Uh, you know, I'll look into that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, so if I get guests, then I got to deal with their schedule. And, oh, I'm late. And uh, can we reschedule it? And I got to, you know, I got to read up on them. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to do any of that. You don't so, want to do it? Yeah, I like right where I'm at. Right where I'm at. Tell jokes. People come out to see me. I got my little podcast. Some people, enough people listen to that to put some Fruit Loops on the table. I'm good. <laughs> I have no, I don't really want to have my own TV show. I just want to just parrot troop in to other people's successful shows, <laughs> smile and wave so people keep coming to my shows and then leave. That's all I want to do. Give it up for Bill Burr, everybody. <laughs>